Hello everybody, Sebastian here again with another Watcher of Realms video and today I'm going to show you how I approached 3 starring the Stage and Normal campaign Chapter 7 Stage 15 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you at the I'm going to show you the clip of the run as I set it up and I'm going to just briefly introduce it and I'm going to let it run and then at the end I'm going to show you what the builds look like for the champions that I used. Before I show you the clip, uh, I'm going to tell you that I brought up two tanks, two healers, and then the rest were mages and marksmen. Tried to get in as much DPS as possible, except for Mary. Mary is just there to slow things down and also to survive. And so you'll see that I do have some HP packed into her kit so with that let me bring in the clip here okay so here we are and the the run is going to start um of course with everybody coming in uh the tanks uh are going to be dropped as being part of the first ones and and i'm also going to place the healers down to just get them set and start healing the DPS when I set them in these uh, specialized tiles where they can see the enemies coming in. So there is Camille. So that's one of the healers. And I put Brienne right away in the spot to help the tank get these uh, the first wave down. So I'm going to repeat the same pattern on the second side. We're going to have my tank and then the... Uh, I'm going to have my DPS on the tile. So I put in my healer too late down, but I still have time to recover. So we know where the enemies are coming from. So essentially what I'm trying to do here is create a box in. Not worry too much about the boss. As you can see, I'm, I'm placing everybody inward. Creating a box. So we're creating a choke point. And so all the damage is going to come in in that spot. Okay, so let me let me stop and let me slow it down here. All right. So the idea here is if you see in the middle, I had placed Mary in. Mary is going to try to slow things down for me, especially wherever she's um, she's aiming, or the AI is aiming, and. I'm just hoping that she can slow things down and when her ultimate is activated then she can slow down the waves a little bit and i also have my marksman with the longest range right behind her and just aiming at the boss and then hopefully she can pick up anything that is coming in but i already have this two dps on the sides here so they should be clearing the way well uh well you'll see my marksman here just targeting the boss so i'm going to continue playing that Whenever the ultimates are available, I am going to use them. The only one that I didn't use them on was the tank. I wasn't really too worried about the tank. Especially the one on the right hand side here. He has um, uh, an, a passive that if he dies, he comes back. So it's, it's not that important to me to use his ultimate. So there he died, but he restores his health upon death. So I used this passive for this run. Okay, so you see everybody coming in, everybody's on the eye and the specialized tiles. And if they die, the next one, next one, next man up. So I put down the, the other mage there. Hopefully everybody can start healing. And somewhere around here, I was hoping Mary would use. Slow down the boss a little bit. Now everybody's coming in. Yeah. 
You can see the waves coming in. So the tanks are holding up. So here I'm trying to decide. I think I was trying to decide whether I want to place her down right away or not, or where for the tentacle. So I think I waited for the tentacles. And so I just waited for the waves to get a little bit closer before I put her down. There, Mary's ultimate came in handy here. Kept these beasts from my tanks because they can go right through them. And that was the run. So what I want you to notice here is everybody's at 50. Everybody's at 50 except for Camille, she's at 40. Uh, not everybody's prom uh, has been promoted at the five of the fifth level, but the major uh, damage dealers here that I was using, which were Breen, uh, Nyx, and Noc uh, Nocturne, they are five. Um, their fifth star is promoted. Uh, don't pay too much attention. The Nocturne is now six star. I was doing some stuff in game earlier before I recorded this, but like I showed you, he worked well at fifty. Most of his gear is all decked out with some type of attack or attack bonus stat in his uh, in his gear. So attack bonus on the top, attack bonus here with attack speed, and attack bonus. And three pieces are legendary, two pieces are epic. Next, kind of same setup, just looking for attack pieces wherever possible. And I put her, in, I gave her that and attack so you said the weapon here had some attack bonus so load them up with attack green uh, epic but if she had the opportunity to get something with attack in it that is available in inventory she got it same thing with yona yona has anything with attack bonus and attack and then some survivability helps so if you can give it to her, go ahead and, and give it to her. Mary, uh, let me see, is there any damage? Okay, so Azarin kind of built for damage attack. Uh, there it goes to attacks, attack speed, attack, and attack. So lots of attack. Uh, okay, Mary's, uh, Mary's not being used for attack. She's used for slowing things down. So I wanted to make sure that she survives so you can see most of her pieces are hp if there's a little bit more attack speed wonderful she can use it hp with hp and hp and i gave her a little bit of rage regeneration to bring her ultimate back up as soon as possible healers so healers again all decked up with hp and some of them is their epic pieces so it's nothing is nothing to extravagant uh let's see here where is camille there's camille camille is at 40 but her gear is all hp wherever i could find healing effect i gave it to her but then you get an upper, you get a chance to kind of see what she has let me go to my tanks here so livian livian hp and defense that's primarily what i was looking for in her pieces So you saw all the HP there. We can use HP flat in when they're the low levels like this, which is fine. Here's my other tank in Titus. Titus again, HP and defense. The nice thing about Titus, I don't know if you have him in your account, but Titus uh, ultimate actually gives him HP. He restores his HP. And then his repair mode passive is if he gets a fatal hit, he will come back. He'll heal himself at 100%, and he gets like an extra life during battle. But he does have a very high cost, so you got to plan uh, to use him. There it is, folks. That's the strategy they use to beat normal 715. 
if you found this video helpful please hit like and subscribe if you have any questions post them down below and i will see you all in the next video goodbye